In this video, I will show you how I'm using default Procreate brushes to create a kind of realistic fur. So consider trying this technique before you purchase any other fur brushes. This video is actually a recreation of my very first YouTube video, which was just a screen recording of this tail. So I'm going to use a screen size canvas and pick the darkest color that I'm going to have in this tail. Um, I'm going to use an airbrush. Um, it doesn't really matter for the base which, which brush you choose. Maybe it's a mono line or something. So the first thing I'm doing is drawing a rough tail shape and filling it with the darkest color that I'm going to have. I then layer over the dark shade, a um, little bit lighter colors and just to know approximately where my highlights will be. And after that, let's take a studio pen and the smudge tool and kind of roughly um, smudge out the edges and at the same time uh, smudge together all the other colors that we layered on top of each other. It is also very important that you pull the brush strokes uh, the same direction where the fur is gonna go. And don't worry how messy it looks right now. It's um, just to build a solid base. And so this tail would um, have a better, like more realistic form. And now once I'm done with the base colors, I'm going to take a different brush. You can find it under materials and it's the short hair. And um, it, it was kind of difficult for me to get used to this brush because um, if you overuse it, it just looks um, very unrealistic. And um, I'm going to start with the darkest uh, shade. So to avoid overdoing the fur, I'm pressing very, very lightly. And by using the same brush as an eraser, I will clean up the edges a little bit. They, they look a little bit too rough from the smudging, but not, not all of it though. It, the fur has many different textures, not just the smooth hair. So next I am just layering different shades of gray, uh, mostly starting from the darkest ones and then just building up uh, to the highlights. So now to get in more details, I am creating a new layer and taking a technical pen. 
Reduce the opacity and the size. I will start from the darkest one and just add some tiny little strokes in there. And for these brush strokes to look more natural, you can take the eraser, um, basically any kind of. I'm going to take an airbrush and erase the beginning of the strokes. Kind of blend them together with the rest of the fur. And that's about it. And um, if you did try this technique, um, you can tag me in your Instagram posts. And I would appreciate if you could subscribe to see future videos. Thank you.